Hi, I'm Vicky, and welcome to this video produced by eBack. We're going to be testing the eBack washing machine against competitors which have achieved which Best Buy awards. The machines will be tested using a simple wash load, and we will test on the following criteria. Wash time, energy usage, and water usage. However, under which Best Buy testing conditions, machines are expected to remove tough stains without the help of stain removers. But as most households will reach for stain remover products if they see a red wine stain on their t-shirt, we want to test our machine with a wash load that represents a more conventional wash cycle. We'll then show you how which conducts its tests. They are impressive, but not always relevant to everyday washing machine usage, and how it may not be the best way to recommend a washing machine to a customer. So let me show you the science used to test the machines by which. These calibrated stain strips are used to determine how effective the machine is at removing severe stains. The tests use both cotton and synthetic material strips that consist of tough to remove stains such as blood, oil and red wine. The programs used to test the strips are cotton 40 degrees and synthetic 40 degrees. The strips are then loaded into the machines with appropriate materials to fill the drum to 80% weight capacity. All this is helpful when assessing against stain removal, although most households would use a stain remover like this and use their washing machine on a normal setting. Now as part of which test to earn Best Buy status, washing machines need to score a minimum of 70%. Each machine's score is made up of the same testing criteria. Overall washing, including removing the stains, makes up 50% of the score. Rinsing and spin dry make up 15% of the score each, and ease of use and program length make up 5% of the score each. From the test we're running today, without these strips, we can establish the time taken by each machine and the energy used and the water consumed. At eBack, we think these are much more relevant criteria for most households, particularly those families concerned about the cost of operating the washing machine and its environmental impact. So let's start with setting up the test. We're going to use these energy meters to read how much energy is used by each machine during its cycle. So we're going to use the same laundry pod and identical wash loads for each one of the machines. So let's get the test started. So the eBac has just finished its machine cycle and it's taken one hour and 30 minutes. So our final machine has just finished its cycle and it took two hours and 13 minutes. Now that the machines have completed their cycle, you can see that they've achieved a quality wash. This machine has used 0.77 kilowatt hours. The eBack machine has used 0.54 kilowatt hours. Now let's address water consumption. I'm stood here with a tank of water that was expelled by our eBack machine. We drained each machine into a tank and then carefully measured the amount of water each of our machines used. So what conclusions have we reached in this test? First, that our eBack machine, when compared to similar priced and respected brands, washed its sample load just as well. Second, that it took 43 minutes less time than one of the leading brands, it completed our trial in one hour, 30 minutes. Third, the energy it consumed was 0.54 kilowatt hours, which was much less than the 0.77 kilowatt hours of the other comparator machine. Fourth, our eBack machine used 36.1 litres of water, much less than the machine which used 41.2 litres. We can conclude that for its mid-range price, it performs exceptionally well in the good company of leading brands. If which perform tests like ours, tests that really capture what we think are the right concerns of our customers, then the British-made eBack machine performs very well and can hold its own against leading global brands.